golly, oh man, look at him go. Hey y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. Well, I'm running kind of late this morning. It's about 7 a.m. right now, and I'm trying to get out here and take advantage of the morning bite. Now, right now, I'm anchored off the end of a point. I'm in 40 feet of water here, and today I'm gonna to be using a combination of cut bait and live bait to target catfish. I went out yesterday evening, I got fresh skipjack, and I've got some live crappie and live bluegill uh, in my bait well here. So I'm gonna start out with two rods baited with cut skipjack. I'll have a headpiece and a body section, and then I'm gonna have two live baits on the other rods. I'm gonna use a live crappie and a live bluegill, and I'm just gonna be suspend fishing. I'll have my baits down directly under the kayak, raised up off the bottom a couple feet. So in 40 feet of water here off this point, my baits are probably gonna be setting 37, 38 feet deep. So, like I said, I brought a kind of late though. I got a late start this morning. I just wasn't feeling getting out of bed, but the more I laid there and got to thinking about maybe catching a big fish today, the more motivated I got. So, I got on up and got on out here. Hopefully you can see me though, because it is still kind of dark. There's the skipjack body section. Went out ultralight fishing yesterday to get those live baits and lucked into that skipjack. I tried filming my trip yesterday. I don't know how it'll turn out. I haven't edited the video yet, so you may see it, you may not. We'll see what it turns out like. There's that one. We're gonna put the head on this back rod here. I'm hoping that we're gonna get on some fish. I had planned on fishing another point initially uh, that's closer to the launch just because I was running late and it's right there in front of the boat ramp but uh, it was there's another boat sitting down there on it so I just moved upstream here to the next point up from it we'll see how we do here this is a good point too all right and this one here that's a skipjack head Got known a Carolina rig. That's what I'll have all my rods set up with today, other than uh, the live crappie. The first crappie I'm gonna put on is 12 inches. It's a big bait, so I'll have a Carolina rig, but it'll have two hooks. It'll be a double hook rig, just to improve my chances of hooking up. And there's that bait there. That's a live bluegill. I trimmed his dorsal fin, trimmed his tail, making Trimming a tail, I feel like makes them swim a little bit more erratic. Trimming a dorsal fin, I feel like helps getting better hookups. We'll drop him down. He'll be on this back rod holder. I'm gonna have the crappie up front. Guys, there we go. 12 inch crappie on a double hook rig there. I've got hit right here. There it goes. There it goes, man. Fish on. Fish on. Well, y'all, <laughs> just one of them mornings. I had to pack up and come back to the car because I'm an idiot. So I lost some fishing time this morning. But fortunately, when I come back out again, the people that was fishing the point I wanted to fish initially were gone. So I have moved back down here where you seen me fish a couple videos ago and I got on them good fish. It's just unfortunate I got a little bit later start. I didn't get back out here and set up on this spot till about 7.45. So I'm fearful I've missed my window of opportunity. But I do have this one here. This one ate a skipjack body section. I'm up here and take a look at him. Fun size fish. Alrighty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just one of them days. But we're gonna make the most of it. We're gonna put in a few hours out here. We got this fella here to come along and entertain us. He's probably, I don't know, 32, 34 inches. We'll set him here on the board and find out. Just old fun sizer. Yeah, y'all, that fish right there, he's a little over 34 inches. Yeah, y'all, not a bad way to finally start out the morning. Let's let him go. Send him back down, and we'll send another bait back down there with him. Hopefully, 
we get some more fish moving along up in here. All right, we'll send another skipjack body section down. He's after that body section right there. He may have it, he's swimming with it. There he goes, there he goes. He's hooked up. Yeah, buddy, fish number two. This one hit it a couple seconds before I turned the camera on and didn't get hooked up and he come back for it. He was persistent. I got a feeling though he's going to wish he hadn't got this bait. <laughs> this one had a hook in it. <laughs> yeah, another little blue cat. I'm going to get up here and show out now. <laughs> All right. Well, that's two just a few minutes apart here. That and there, he's, I don't know, maybe a little smaller than the last one. Comparable size, though. He was fun, man. <laughs> they hitting aggressive when they hit it. Let's let it go. We'll drop another body section down there. That seems to be the, the bait of choice right now. The head hasn't been touched and my live baits haven't been touched, but that's two on the body sections. We'll drop another right back down. All right, down it goes. Right there got hit just then, buddy. That got hit. Boom. Just engulfed that bait, man. <laughs> it's on the skipjack body section again, man. That's the only one that's getting touched this morning. But that's fine. That's why I got it out there. And that's why I try to put out a variety. Even if I'm using the same bait, I like to use some different cuts, different sections of it, you know, just to mix it up. You never know what they're going to key in on. It's just a dink there, but again, it's action, man. All right, y'all. Fish number three on the morning of the blue cat. They seem to be getting smaller. We're going the wrong direction. This one was fun anyway. He did not want to let go of my thumb, did he? <laughs> he was clamped down on me. They got some strong jaws. All right, let's get another bait on there. All right, guys, that's the last fresh piece of skipjack that I have. I've got one used piece that we caught that first fish on. If I lose this bait, we'll, we'll stick it back on the hook. So it's actually still in pretty good shape. But this will be the last fresh piece. Let's see what we can do with it. Put that head right there. There it goes. There it goes. Oh, it's on the head. That skipjack head just got eat, man. Heck yeah. I've been waiting on that rod to go down. That's a good fish too. Golly bum, that's a good fish. He's going where he wants to go, buddy. Golly, oh, man, look at him go. Man, <laughs> y'all, this is a good fish. This right here is why I wanted to fish this spot this morning. Maybe forgetting my camera batteries in the car will turn out to be the best thing that could have happened today. <laughs> I don't know what time it is now. Let me see if I can. It looks like 9.24 right now. Oh heck, this fish has got both of my front lines. But that's okay, because he's a good fish. Don't mind a tangle for a good one. Oh yeah, buddy, that's a beast, buddy. He's got both my front rods wrapped all to you know what, but that is a good fish. That is a really good fish. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
Let's bring him here, man. Oh, he's made a mess of my life. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I don't care at all, man. I don't care at all. It is worth it. This is a... That's a tank right there, buddy. That is a tank. Got my head back, too. We'll use that again here in a few minutes when I get all this mess sorted out. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. There we go, man. Heck yeah. <laughs> well, that is what I have been looking for. These deep points like this, man. Fish get active, they move up on them, and if you're sitting here waiting on them, you're going to get bit. That's my fourth fish. Cut bait this morning, live bait still ain't been touched. That's a good one, man. This is why you play the game right here for fish like this. The sun's behind me, too. I ain't even going to get a good picture of it. That's all right. I got the thrill of the fight. Let me just stick him on the board here. And we'll get a length. He's over 40 inches for sure. He's a beast. Yeah, y'all, that fish right there is over 44 inches. Great fish, man. That's a beast. All right. <laughs> over 44 inches. And heavy. <laughs> oh, I love it, man. This made my day right here, y'all. I was so upset with myself earlier, not only just for, you know, piddling there in a the bed, not getting up on time, but then forgetting my dang camera batteries in a car and having to pack up and go back and missing that bite right there at first light. And uh, But you know, it worked out in the end. I was able to get on this point that I wanted to fish initially, but that boat was out here and uh, paid off with this fish, man. All right, well, let's let him go. See ya, buddy. Yeah, he's out of here. All right, y'all. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna untangle all these lines. That's gonna take me a couple minutes. And I'm gonna drop that head back down there and uh, we'll check these other two baits, make sure they're still on, and hopefully, maybe, get some more fish today. <laughs> Uh-oh, our bluegill's getting hit here. Something's after him. He's running from it. It's the first, first action on that bluegill. Something may have him right there, y'all. I think, yeah, something's got him. Let's pick up on him. Wow, bluegill finally found him a suitor down there. He finally found him something that was interested in him. That's four blues on the cut bait and the smallest fish of the day on the live bait. <laughs> All right, y'all. Smallest fish of the day so far. And it ate the live bluegill. But I got plenty more bluegill to drop down there, so we'll stick another one on and see if we can find one a little bigger. The next victim right there. Down he goes. See if he's on there. Pick up on him. Yeah, he's on there, buddy. Skipjack body section has produced today. It has been with the bulk of the fish has come on. We've gotten good use out of that one skip that I caught last night. Got the action on the body and the whopper on the head. don't believe this is going to be like the whopper I got a little while ago. But it ain't a bad fish either way. Well, no, no, it's just a dink. The way the light hit him, I thought he was bigger than he was. All right, the bite continues. It's the dink. That one threw the bait off the hook. So... That was my last fresh piece of skipjack, so I'm going to use, I'm going to reuse the bait that the first fish this morning ate. Just going to hook it here. And 
and this here will be the last piece of skipjack. So if it gets eaten, we're gonna have to cut some of these live baits up back here. Look right here, look right here. That's on that head. That's on that head, buddy. I think that's a flathead. I did not feel him hit at all. I just felt my kayak moving and looked over and my rod tips in the water. And I'm pretty sure this is a flathead. We're going to find out. Boy, that gets me pumped up, man. That's exciting. I love just feeling that tippy, leaning feeling in the kayak. Like, what's going on? You look over and there goes your rod. <laughs> yeah, it is a flathead. It is a flathead. Now, guys, I want you to notice that fish ate the cut bait. He got two live baits over here, a crappie and a bluegill. And he went for the cut bait. That's what he eat right there, y'all. Skipjack head. He had a live bluegill right there and a live crappie right there. And he ate that skipjack head. People tell me all the time, you got to use live baits for flatheads. And I'm telling you, you don't. They eat cut baits, I think, easier than they'll take a live bait. That's just my opinion on it. But I catch a lot of flatheads on cut bait. And all my biggest flatheads have come on cut bait. And when I've got them side by side and they've got their choice up through here, it's pretty obvious what they prefer. Ain't bad flathead. All right, well, let's send him out here. Get on, buddy. He was fun. He'll turn into a whopper someday. And that flathead was nice enough to leave me my skipjack head, so. I'm gonna send it right back down because it's the only one I got. Well, that's two fish on it, and we'll see if we can get a third on it. Right, right here, this piece of skipjack got hit. He's on there. Goodness, man, that might be another decent fish right there. That might be another good one, man. That's on the used piece of skipjack body. We have made full use of that skipjack today, man. If I had bought him, I would have said I got my money's worth out of him. <laughs> I caught him for free. <laughs> Let's get this one up here and take a look at him. Oh, he ain't as big as he fought, man. These fish are fighting hard today. They're fighting hard today. I would have thought that one was a little bigger. Now, he was still fun, though. All right, guys. Another little fun sizer there. I ain't going to bother with measuring him. He's probably 32, 34 inches, somewhere in that range. <laughs> I thought he was bigger, though. He was pulling hard. See you, buddy. All right, well, that was the end of my skipjack. So, uh, other than just this old tail section there. I'm going to throw that out. I don't ever like using them tail pieces, but uh, I'll get me one of these live baits out of here. We'll cut it up. It'll be good and fresh. We'll drop it down. All right, y'all. It's about noon right now. I'm getting ready to take off. The bite lasted till about 1030 this morning before it really just shut off, which is kind of an improvement over my last few morning trips. But, uh, you know, overall though, man, I had a great morning out here. Got that monster blue, got that nice flathead, got a few other blues that were decent size there. And, you know, consider how the morning started out with me just fumbling my way through the morning. I would say it has been a great day. It went as good as I could have possibly expected. So uh, I'm happy with it, but I'm gonna take off and go home and spend the rest of the day piddling around the house and get some chores done. And uh, I'll be back out here again real soon. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.